Hey, this is Danielle, and I'm the Director of Options at Simpler Trading, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite option strategies, which is called the butterfly. So butterflies are one of my favorite strategies for a couple different reasons. Um, number one, I love the low cost. So typically um, a butterfly is going to cost anywhere between half or even up to a fourth of what a long call would cost you. So if you have a setup like this one right here that you want to trade, you see some consolidation, you think it's going to break out, um, and you're trying to decide, well, how should I trade that? Should I trade it with a long call? Should I trade it with stock? Or should I use a different option strategy like a butterfly? And you're looking at what you can afford for your account. A butterfly is typically going to be you know, a half, half the price of a long call, even up to about a fourth of the price, or I guess down to. Um, so that's one of the main reasons why I like it. One of the next... One of my next favorite aspects of the butterfly is because of the risk to reward, okay? Risk to reward on a butterfly is absolutely critical, and this is how I'm really able to grow small accounts. So when you're getting into a trade and you're looking at risk versus reward, if you are risking three to make one, how often do you have to be right? Okay, just think about that. And let's say you're wrong three times in a row and you risk three to make one. It's really, really hard to get ahead um, in that type of risk reward parameters. However, with a butterfly, it's the opposite. So you're usually risking one to make three, all right? Or you can even risk one to make five or you can risk one to make 10. So um, for me, number one, the low cost, Number two, the excellent risk reward are two of the primary reasons why I like trading a butterfly. Now, what is a butterfly, you may ask? Well, a butterfly is going to be a multi-leg option spread that you use when you have a directional setup. So for me, I'm a directional trader. I love trading consolidation breakouts and trending charts. So for me, a butterfly is a great strategy to utilize. So what I look for is I look for some consolidation um, and then I look for a breakout. All right. So CRM, this is one of the tickers I've been trading. Um, and then what I do is I go through my options and I say, all right, how do I want to trade this? I know this is a setup here. I think it's going to break out. I use a lot of Fibonacci. So I uh, draw my levels here and then I get a price target. I had a price target of 200 and then a secondary price target of 210. This one right here is going to be resistance. Resistance. And this one's going to be the primary target. All right. But in using butterflies, um, the best part about it is you can target this first and then you can target this second and you can kind of stack them up. And that's how what I like to do. So when you're thinking about, you know, why you would use a butterfly after you have a directional setup, step one, you have to have a directional setup, okay? Set up a reason to believe a ticker is going to go higher. This is mine in CRM. I've got the consolidation, consolidation, and then boom, it broke out to it. That's great. After that, you have to have a target, right? Target. Because with long calls, you don't necessarily need an exact target, but with butterflies, you do. So with a butterfly, I get my target from my FIB levels. I have a previous area of resistance, and then I have a full target Fibonacci 1272 extension. Then you also need a time frame if you're going to trade with butterflies, because you need to know um, about how long it's going to take you to get in or be in the trade. So in this example, um, I was trading CRM, trading it to 200 and then 210. So I'm going to show you just a couple different butterflies I had on. So if I would have traded this with a long call, I would have done it with a Delta 70. Um, about 18 days is a, is a little bit short. Honestly, probably would have done it about 25 days out. So let's just see what that would have cost me if I would have done it that way instead. 
Um, so if you go down here into your options chain and you see Delta 70s right about here, that would have cost me about $1,300 for one single call, okay? Just, just for one long call. Now instead, I decided to create a butterfly and my butterfly cost me $1.97, which is $197. And I ended up doing two of those. So it was about 400 bucks um, instead of spending 1300. Now, when I'm working on growing small accounts, you can see where this would be very, very beneficial. You had a cost basis of 1300, you slice that down into two bucks. I mean, that's that's just a huge, um, difference in price here. Now, the other thing that's great about butterflies is that typically with these directional setups, you can get really good percentage wins here. So I paid two bucks. This is already up to $3.38 per contract. So as far as, you know, growing a small account, um, you know, you really want to be focusing on trades where you can get 50 to a hundred percent winners and, when you're just trading long calls, typically, for at least the type of setups that I trade, I'll get anywhere between 50, 25% to 50% on long calls, kind of on a regular basis, and they're more expensive. So your percentage that you, the percentage that you earn when you're right is less, all right, the percentage, and it costs more. With the butterfly, the percentage that you earn is much better and it costs less. So that's why I prefer to use a lot of butterflies. Now, the problem with butterflies can be the targets, okay? So you do have to be um, pretty good at technical analysis or at least learning from somebody who's pretty decent at it. So a butterfly is a multi-leg option strategy where you have long calls in your first leg, short calls in your second leg, and this is for a bullish setup, and then you have long calls in your third leg. And so basically what this does is it creates a target for you, okay? So imagine it like this. Let's go back to the other screen. 190, 200, 210. So a butterfly is essentially, just imagine that you're looking at a dartboard, okay? And you have... Um, a range here on your dartboard. Okay, one, two, three, just like this. And the butterfly with the center strike is going to be right here. All right, so let's say you have a long call plus one right here. Then you have two short calls in the middle. It's a center strike. It's going to be 200 price point. And then let's say your 190 price point is right here. And then your 210 price point is right here. So you have a target zone that you're trying to hit. Okay. And I got into this trade last week when this was trading down at 185. So we're trading down here at 185 and I say to myself, hey, you know, I think it's going to trade up into this zone. What's the best way for me to trade that? Well, I'm going to spend two bucks and I'm going to try to get 50%, 100% on my money in a couple days by using a butterfly where I'm targeting the $200 price point. Now, you may ask, well, what happens when it goes above it? Because it did. It went a little bit above it, right? Well, there's two different things I can do for that. Number one, I'm about to take this trade off. I just went ahead and wanted to make this video um, before I took the trade off. But um, it will go a little bit against you once it goes through that center strike. You can do one of two things. You can wait until it comes back or you can just add another one at a higher price point when you take this off. So for example, on this trade, I have one that's targeting 200 and then I stacked another one on here that's targeting 210. So I have this fly that I paid only $1.45 for, that's $145. And it's already up a dollar. Um, so that's pretty pretty decent. Um, and the best part about that is it can go, it can continue going up even higher because we still have some more room to run. 
Now I have a couple other butterflies on here. Microsoft is another one that I used for a directional setup. So Microsoft again had this pullback and some consolidation right here, and it was heading up to this $220 price point. Now today is a pretty extreme example because you have Microsoft up 5.59%, which is just huge. Microsoft doesn't normally move that much in one day. Um, we also have CRM that was up 4%. So it's a pretty big um, range today, but it, it was the same setup. So I had a directional setup. I used this butterfly because I had a pullback. I had this consolidation. I had a Fibonacci area of support, and I was looking for a breakout from the setup to my specific target. So I came in here and I said, you know, I want to target the 220 price point. And instead of paying $12 and 50 cents, I'm going to, I'm going to pay $5 and 71 cents. And then I'm going to get about a one to four risk reward on the trade. And I'm going to try to get a double out of it. So right here, I mean, it's really not even bad just as it is. It's already up 50% because it's already up three bucks. And I put this trade on, I don't know, maybe two or three days ago. So 50% is not bad. I mean, you can take those all day long on these types of trades. Um, but I do usually try to get a little bit more. Now, for another example, here's Netflix. This is one that I don't have it set up on yet, but I wanted to set it up on here. Um, and so just to show you an example, you know, here is the here is the setup. You have the squeeze, which is showing consolidation. You have the turbo VZO, which is showing you consolidation. You have a bit of a cup and handle pattern here. You pulled back to the 34 EMA, and now you're kind of flipping up. And when I throw my targets on here, you can see that I have a couple different targets. Number one, I'm targeting resistance. So there's an area of resistance right here at 550. And then I also would like to target this area up here. Now this is what I call the easy target zone easy because typically in any directional setup you're at least going to come up and um you're at least going to come up and you're going to hit this area of resistance so i typically like to target that zone first so if you look at netflix it's trading at 500 bucks today um, i have a target of 550 so how do i want to trade it well we do the same analysis again we come um in here and we say, all right, well, a Delta 70 call is going to cost me $3,500. Do I want to pay $3,500 and potentially sit through a lot of volatility in Netflix? Or do I want to try to make a cheaper, um, cheaper trade that's going to have a much better risk to reward? All right, well, I want to make a cheaper trade that has a much better risk to reward because that's how I grow small accounts. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on 550 because that's my target zone and I'm going to click on buy and then I'm going to click on butterfly. All right. And so remember what I told you before, a butterfly is a target. Imagine you're looking at a dartboard. If you're trying to hit this tiny little circle right in the middle, how likely is that? isn't it more likely that you hit a much bigger circle? So you want to try to make your zone as wide as you can, just depending on what you're willing to pay. So, you know, it's a main question I always get. How wide do you make them? Well, you, you make them as wide as you can afford it. So I'm trading here with a $20,000 account. Usually I try to make um, trades about 5% of my account, something like that. But it also just depends on how many other trades I have on, stuff like that. So $25 wide for $2.75 is great. I mean, if you look at this risk reward here, you have a $500 risk and $4, almost, almost $4,500 reward, okay? And that's for two contracts. It's just the automatic um, counting or the automatic quantity I have in here. So that's awesome. You could also make it even wider, make it $50 wider or make it $50 wide because then you have a bigger target, okay? So now what does your risk reward look like? Well, this trade, and since I did two contracts, you know, it'll cost you 2,200 bucks for a max profit of 700, 7,700. Now, keep in mind with the butterfly, this is the max profit, okay? If your max profit is risk one to make four, 
you're going to get those one out of fours every now and again, but the ones that you want on the regular basis are going to be the 50%, 100% winners. Okay. You know, times two is, is pretty good. And if you go down and if you look at, you know, I just stack these on top of each other, like Adobe, it hasn't really taken off quite yet. This one, we're just still waiting for it to go. Um, I have a couple different other strategies here. I have a um, put credit spread. I have a couple different butterflies here and here. I also got one on um, Tesla right here. And then I also have some long calls too. So I do trade long calls. I try to do them on a little bit of these cheaper names like Workhorse, um, like Peloton. But I mean, that adds up, you know, it's $3,000. So when I'm looking at these type of strategies, the reason why I do this is so that I can grow um, so I can grow small accounts. So, I mean, this account I grew from $6,000 and now we're sitting up here at 20K. So that is why I trade with the butterfly um, because when you can kind of add this strategy into also using these long calls, um, you know, you have a conservative strategy that um, is pretty cheap and it's not also the other benefit it's not going to be as volatile so you know today we have a big up day in the market um if we do end up kind of pulling back here in this market then these butterflies because they have a short strike higher up here um the best part about that is that it um, that short strike will go in your favor if the market starts pulling back. So you're not just long a long call. You're also short these guys right here. So because this is a multi-leg option spread, you have multiple different options that can go either for you or against you, of course. But if you know how to use it, when the stock price goes up, your 525s are going for you, okay? Because you're long. And as long as the price stays below your short options right here at the 550 strike price, I guess I should have put two right here, shouldn't I have? As long as price stays below this, um, these short strikes, you're making money on this one right here because you're long, and you're making money on theta decay on this one because you're short. So these options decay over time. So you make money on that leg and then you make money on this leg as price goes up. Now, the other reason why I love these is because if price just kind of trades sideways and goes like this, you're still making money on this side. And this side will hold up relatively well because it's in the money, usually not in this example, it's not in the money, but oftentimes when I do these, I'll do them so they're just below being in the money. They'll get in the money pretty quickly. And then that way, the lower leg holds up really well. So I think that's how I did a couple of these other ones in here. So, um, you know, for example, this Microsoft one, this one's in the money. So you have a $200 strike right here. You have a $200 strike right here. And now this guy is uh, 17 bucks in the money. So that's going to hold up really well. And uh, yeah. So anyways, this is how I trade. This is how um, I like to grow small accounts. This is also what I do in the Simpler Trading Options room. And I also have my own trade alert service as well. So if you're interested in learning more about those, you can go to simplertrading.com slash join. And you can also go to simplertrading.com slash profits. And that is where you can learn about my trade alert service where I teach butterflies and all these kind of strategies that I just went through today. So I hope you learned something in this video. Give me a thumbs up or comment below if you have any questions. And beyond that, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.